On the horizon in central Oregon, there will be madness in Madras. There we go. Step over. Christina Carpenter is getting the farm ready for a festival. On August 21st, the solar eclipse will drop darkness over her fields. 400 spectators paying a premium, some $1,500 a couple, to camp on her 80 acres. It's definitely a once in a lifetime opportunity that was handed to this tiny little community. We'll be serving people uh, farm to feast style right in the fields where we're growing the food. I'm really excited. This town of 6,000 bracing for 100,000 visitors. Liquor sales are booming. Legal pot sales could hit an all time high. We've been planning for all these years to uh, uh, be ready for the big, great American eclipse. John Brewster has been planning for decades even building his home in the path of the eclipse. All of this work for two minutes, I'm like, yes, <laughs> of course. As the moon passes in front of the sun, a ribbon of darkness, 70 miles wide, known as the path of totality, will move from Oregon to South Carolina, taking just under two hours, each town going dark for roughly two minutes. At Grand Teton National Park, rescue teams are preparing for the largest crowds ever. And across the country, kids big and small are launching science experiments. For those that don't fall in the path of complete darkness, tens of millions will still experience a partial eclipse. You won't need a fancy telescope, just a pair of protective glasses like these, if you can find them. Miguel Almaguer, NBC News, Los Angeles. Hey, NBC News fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.